that this uh, repertoire is not very diverse. So, um, you know, there are only, here you see, uh, 11 clones in this in this entire uh, in this entire repertoire and this does not have to be like that in your data actually in the data that we would look at in our lab we, we would really rarely see something like this we would have at least you know 10,000 20,000 maybe 40,000 different clones um, and then of course you have some that are highly expanded and some not so here we obviously we download a random fastq file if, if you remember from the very first or second uh, video and I have no idea, you know, what they, uh, what they sequenced and what that sample is, really is. So obviously, if we would know the background, maybe this whole thing would make sense. It doesn't matter. We'll look at other different um, FASTQ files as well to to use for more analysis, where we'll see more diverse and different uh, uh, d different file, uh, different uh, sample data. But for now, this was the first thing that we did with the MyXCR software. The, obviously, the tool uh, has so many more functions. You can, you know, just go through all of the things that they that they can that you can do with these. They have a quick start. Um, I think they have examples right here. You know, they show you a workflow analysis of data obtained using race. Uh, um, this is a this is a method uh, for RNA transcription of um, full length. CDNA products, a full length uh, reverse transcribed um, CDNA products, and many, many other different analysis methods. You should read through these and see what is most important for you. But I showed you the main workflow of how to align your samples with MyXCR, and there are other alignment methods as well, especially if you obviously if you're, if you're not working with immune cell uh, data, and we'll go through those as well. But um, I think this one is a really neat. Uh, neat product, uh, really neat program. So go ahead and check it out. And if you want more, more videos and want to learn more about next generation sequencing data analysis, go to my website, nextgenerationsequencinghq.com. There you'll also find a course. And in this course, you'll learn how to write a code, a script to um, create a pipeline, a bioinformatical pipeline that will save you all of this hassle. You won't have to always keep typing it and find your files, but actually you just have to press enter and execute your script. And it will, you know, from unpacking your files to aligning your files to um, making pretty graphs with those, it will do that all for you within a few seconds and do that for a hundred samples right after another. Uh, so it's it's it, it, it's actually quite handy. Go ahead and check out nextgenerationsequencinghq.com and uh, see you in the next video.